Welcome to the Get Fit Guys Quick and Dirty Tips to Slim Down and Shape Up. My name is Ben Greenfield, and I'm the Get Fit Guy. Just imagine you're building the perfect summer body, you're doing the perfect workouts, and you're perfectly primed to look fantastic in a swimsuit by the time the weather heats up. And then you injure your back, or your knee, or your shoulder, and suddenly your workout routine gets all messed up. Suddenly, getting a summer body becomes much more of an annoying chore. Or maybe you plan on summer sports like beach volleyball or learning how to wakeboard or surf, but you're a bit nervous about how your body might actually hold up during these activities. So in today's episode, you're going to learn how to bulletproof your body for the summer and make sure you don't get injured getting your summer body. Now, even though everyone has their own personal weak links when it comes to muscles, joints, or ligaments that tend to be prone to injury, there are certainly common trouble spots for nearly any active individual. Many of these trouble spots tend to include the small, supportive muscles that are notoriously neglected during our large motor movements that we do in performing summer body workouts, or even summer activities like water skiing, or volleyball, or surfing, or throwing a football on the beach. These supportive areas include your shoulder's rotator cuff, your outer butt's gluteus medius, the small scapula muscles along the shoulder blades, and the abdominal, hip, and low back region, or core. So how can you address these notoriously weak areas and ensure that you bulletproof your summer body? Well, in this episode, you're going to get two routines. One longer, more comprehensive workout that you can do in a traditional gym environment, and another shorter workout conducive to quickly performing at your home or your office. And you can view any of the exercises that I described today over at youtube.com slash Ben Greenfield Fitness. So let's jump right into summer body bulletproofing workout number one. Start off with three to five minutes of aerobic exercise like jogging or cycling or elliptical trainer, which simply serves to warm your muscles and make them more pliable. And then continue to a dynamic warm-up that includes a series of arm swings, leg swings, and preferably, if you have a foam roller available, foam rolling. So for example, you can do arm swings, arm circles, side-to-side leg swings, front-to-back leg swings, kickouts back behind your body, and then foam roll your hamstrings on the back of your legs, quadriceps on the front of your legs, and your calves. And next, you would want to move on to complete a rotator cuff circuit. Do this circuit three to four times through. Get an elastic band or use a cable and do 20 to 25 reps of external rotation, 20 to 25 reps of internal rotation, 15 to 20 reps of front raising with dumbbells, 15 to 20 reps of side raising with dumbbells, 15 to 20 reps of an exercise called empty cans in which you hold the dumbbells out at arm's length and turn your hands down and then up, and then finally dumbbell uppercuts, which is basically like punching up while holding a dumbbell. Don't worry, I'm going to write all of these down and put them in the show notes for you over at getfitguy.quickanddirtytips.com. Next, you'd move on to a circuit for your gluteus medius and your lateral hip. And you do this also three to four times through with 30 to 60 seconds rest after you go each time through the circuit. For this exercise, you do fire hydrants in which you're in a crawling position, kicking your legs out to the side lateral side-to-side lunges at about 10-12 repetitions per side, and then hip hikes where you're standing up on a box or a platform, dropping your hips down to the side and back up. And again, all these exercises are over at youtube.com slash bengreenfieldfitness. And next, you'd want to move on to some core exercises, again, three to four times through with 30 to 60 seconds rest after each time through. I'd recommend you do front planks for about 10 to 15 repetitions per side, tapping your legs up and down, side planks with a side plank rotation for 10 to 15 reps per side, and then back bridges for 20 to 25 reps. And then finally, you'd finish by opening your hip flexors with a yoga sequence of three to five deep breaths in each of the following positions, warrior one, warrior two, warrior three, and down dog. And these are all common yoga positions, which again, you can view over on the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Ben Greenfield Fitness. Now, while what I just described is a longer workout, 
If you print this workout off in the show notes and you just include it once a week during the entire year, it will not only help you to move more efficiently and gracefully, but it will also protect the common weak links of the human body. Now, the next option is to do something a little bit shorter, summer body bulletproofing workout number two. And this is a series of just four exercises that you just perform in sequence. You do 25 to 50 shoulder wall slides in which you're in a standing position sliding your arms up and down the wall with your back to the wall. You do 25 to 50 side-lying leg raises per side, 25 to 50 broomstick front raises, And you can do these holding a broomstick or a light set of dumbbells. And then finally, two and a half to five minutes of a front plank hold. Now, I guarantee that if you can complete the maximum number of repetitions of the four exercises I just described, you'll significantly reduce your risk of injury, even if you aren't doing longer injury prevention workouts. And this will help you to perform safely nearly any sport or activity on the face of the planet with highly reduced risk of injury. And your summer body will truly become bulletproof. So if you enjoy these two summer body bulletproof routines or have your own tips to add or you have questions, you can feel free to surf over to facebook.com slash getfitguy and join the conversation there. And until next time, I'm Ben Greenfield, the Get Fit Guy, asking you, what are you waiting for? Go get fit. Get fit.